Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about rock fishing. I know it's not season yet for California waters. That's not going to open up for about another month. But some of you have been emailing me, asking me questions. You're heading on trips like down to Colonet, the boat's leaving out of San Diego, or you're driving down to Ensenada and you're getting on a boat and you want to catch some rockfish. So I just thought I'd give you a general rock fishing uh, tip today. Now, my favorite way to catch rockfish and ling cod is with a metal jig. And these work out really good, magic metals. And the way you work these, the eight and 10 ounce models, is you drop it all the way down the bottom, let it hit the bottom, and then just lift the rod tip a couple of times. And just let that jig kind of flutter back down. Do that two or three times. If you don't get bit, put the reel in gear and crank as fast as you can, about five or six cranks. Just make that bait dart up. Make that bait look like it's trying to escape from a fish. And you'll be surprised how many times the ling cod will chase it. And then when you stop it and you start to flutter it down, don't be surprised if you get bit. You feel that bite, don't swing the hook really quick or swing the rod, put the reel in gear, crank till you feel the fish really tight, and then drive the hook home. So it's really important that you wind down before you set the hook, especially here in 200 feet of water, 250 feet of water, you gotta get all that stretch out of the line, and that's where Spectra works out really good. We fish a lot of Spectra for rock fishing and short monofilament leaders. You're gonna hook a lot more fish, you can feel the bites better. Another jig you can use on the bottom for like reds, even lings too, is a B-52 bucktail. You can put a strip of bait on here, a squid, a grub, bounce it off the bottom. This one, I wouldn't work it really fast back. I would just bounce it rock to rock, rock to rock, lift it up, let it hit the bottom, lift it up, let it hit the bottom. As it flutters down, it's gonna get bent, and you're gonna do good too. Now, if you wanna fish a gannion, remember in California, you can only use two hooks and uh, you can put on two smaller bucktails, like a half ounce or a one ounce model, works really good like a double dropper loop rig with a big sinker on the bottom. That's the way I like to do it, flood around. I don't like to use just a straight hook when you're rock fishing because they pick off the bait and then you don't get bit. But with a bucktail, even if they pick off the bait, this fluttering in the current, fish will bite it and you'll catch fish. So just some basic tips. Now, if you get into the shallow water fish, you know, like you're out of Ensenada or you're in a shallow area, 100 feet or less, don't be afraid to fish a metal jig too, but just use a smaller model. You can fish a four and a half um, size jig or five ounce jig, bounce it on the bottom and work it the same way like I told you with the big ones. And you can also flutter it up and down the bottom. Lots of Johnny bass, lean cod there too, but because you're so shallow, you can get away with the lighter jig, you'll catch more fish too. So some basic gear, some basic tips. Again, for local fishing, Southern California, do not go rock fishing. The season's closed right now. But it's gonna open soon. I just wanna give you some tips. And if you're heading down to Colonet like I'm going really soon, here's some tips to help you catch more fish. Go down to Ensenada, fishing down there is pretty good too for the rock fishing. So just some variety of stuff. All right, well, thanks for watching today's video clip. And uh, make sure you subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook too. And I'll talk to you again really soon. Thanks for watching.